always do a demonstration. You're probably what's wondering what's under this black uh, sheet here. Well, now is the time to reveal it. We've got something very special down here. And joining me is the team from the University of Cambridge, led as ever by Dr. Hugh Hunt. Hugh, how are you? Dad, what have you got good. for us here? Let's get, let's get the, well, uh, we've got, let's do the reveal. This is a full-size replica of the tunnel yes. in Stardog Loop 3. So what Check we have here, out, everyone. there is the sand. Okay. And there is the tunnel. This is exactly the size it would have been. Now, they had to make the tunnel in, now the sand was really just running everywhere, like water. And what they used was the, the bed boards from their beds, right? And they would put them on the, on the ground like this, and they'd put them up in the, uh, on the sides. Yeah, like that, yeah. Okay, so I see like this, yeah. Yeah, like that, and you see how the shape of it, it's, it's cut. So each board just fits in like that. It's like, like, oh, you're building kind of lining to the tunnel. Yeah, exactly. It's nice finish. Lovely. Nice finish. This is good sort of, uh, yeah, exactly. And, okay. and, and the idea was that they had to cut everyone the same, and they didn't have a saw, so they had to make a saw. Now, one of the things they had was in their um, sort of Red Cross parcels, they were sent gramophone records, and they, they used to cut the, the, the records up to make things like you know, the compasses they needed to, to guide themselves after they escaped. But inside the gramophone record players was the spring, which they'd wind up, and that would you know, play the, the records. And that spring, that metal was very valuable. Useful bit of metal. Uh, useful bit of metal, because what they then did was they cut with a little file, which they nicked from somewhere, they cut saw teeth and they used the little saws they made. That's ingenious, so, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely ingenious. And it's all about, you know, doing stuff. Well, they had plenty of time on their hands. And what they could do then with those saws is they could cut, you know. And they're doing all this in total secrecy as well. Total secrecy. That's the extraordinary thing about it. And there's thousands of these boards. Yeah, all the best. The thing is that they had to fit the boards. This, this was sort of 100 metres long, over 300 feet long. So you had to get right the way down to the face of the tunnel. Come on, Hugh, get in there. Let's have a look. Right, well, this is what you're famous for. <laughs> so they had to make a, a, a trolley. They, they used these, these milk cans to make the wheels and bits of reinforcement bar they nicked. And so what they would do to get to the end of the tunnel, there's a rope that they would, they would have to pull on. Here's the rope. And they'd go in here. And they'd and pull I, themselves. And I'd be pumping oxygen down, pumping air, wouldn't I? Up here. Like this. And then they'd start trying to dig. And oh. they've got to try and get this, this board at the top here. And it's sand is everywhere. And then, <laughs> and then, oh! oh. They get this sand collapses all the time. <laughs> and the thing is that this is just was every, a routine every day. And they did this for day after day after day oh. to get this tunnel all the way to the end. And, and now that's, oh, can someone pull? So to get back out again, you had to get the guys to pull out your tunnel. Okay, on the get the, go and rescue your prof, yep. guys. Rescue the prof. Okay, Put come on, on, pull me Paul out. Beaver, aviation specialist, also bizarrely mining engineer. What do you reckon about this? It's brilliant, isn't it? Just amazing. Wow. Here he comes. Well done, you, Hunt. What wow. a legend. Oh, thank you very much. That's, 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 be, that's, be on, the that's beyond the call of duty, man. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming here tonight, everyone. Weather always do a demonstration. You're probably what's wondering what